What's up everybody, hope you're doing amazing. Chris Wright here and today we're talking all things Facebook Pixel. What this cookie has to do with it and why you need it. The Pixel, not the cookie. And I'll show you everything you need to know about getting started with the Facebook Pixel, where to put it, what pages, how to put it on the pages, and everything you need to know to start driving more leads, more conversions, and more sales to your business using it. Let's go. Okay, so what is the Facebook Pixel? Essentially, it's a tracking device, right? Once you visit a web page that has the Pixel on it, you get Pixel. No, that's wrong. You get cookied. Hence the cookie, right? The pixel triggers the cookie. Uh, uh. Forget the language. It doesn't really matter. It's a tracking device. Basically, once you hit a certain web page that has a pixel on it, that pixel is then attached to you and follows you wherever you go. By the way, these aren't even called cookies. This is a biscuit, right? Like, I don't call them cookies. All I know is that they taste bloody good. Mm. So why is the Facebook pixel so important for you, the business owner? Really, it comes down to three things. Right, and we're gonna break each one of those down. So the first one is conversion tracking. You need to know that your ads are working. Right, there's no point setting up ads, running them, having no idea if they're actually generating sales or not. Agreed? Once you've got it installed, you can then start tracking conversions. And what I mean by that is if, if I visit your web page and I buy something on the thank you page, I can get cookied, right? And Facebook then knows, great, Chris bought my product. One new sale. Right, or it could just be looking at leads, so you, I opt in for your free thing, whatever it is. Right, Chris opted in, one new lead. Right, Facebook knows that add one equals one new lead. Right, does that make sense? The second thing the Facebook Pixel does is it allows you to optimize your ads. So once you can track conversions, right, so once you know that this ad equals a sale, or whatever it is, you can now go back to your ads and start optimizing them. And actually, Facebook does this automatically. If you have conversion tracking on, Facebook actually automatically does this. So it'll automatically start showing the ads that are better, the ads that are getting more conversions, right? They kind of remove a lot of the guesswork. So you have four ads set up, right? And you start running them. If you don't have conversion tracking, you don't know, and Facebook doesn't know which ad works best, right? Facebook might just naturally show the one that gets the most clicks, thinking that's the best ad. But actually, the one that gets the fewer clicks might actually make more sales on the back end. That's the better ad then, right? That's why it's so important that you need to track conversions. And that's why with the pixel, being able to optimize your ads is key. And what does optimization mean? Optimization essentially means you're going to get more leads, more sales for less money. It's a no-brainer, right? Spend less, make more sales. That's optimization. <laughs> And the final thing the Facebook Pixel allows you to do, possibly my favorite part of it, retargeting ads. Right, now what these are, let me, let me, let's put this into a story. You're browsing Amazon, going through all the products that you're looking at, you know there's some specific products you want, and then all of a sudden the doorbell goes, or the kids are messing around in the other room, right? You click off the page, go off for whatever reason you don't buy it, you click off the page, you're gone. And then 30 minutes later, you log onto Facebook and suddenly there is that product staring you back at the face. It's in the middle of your feed, you're scrolling down, you're like, how does it know? How does it know I was looking at that product 30 minutes ago, right? And that product will then follow you around for what, the next three days, the next week? Basically until you buy it. That's retargeting. And that can be done with products, it can be done with, let's say you have a, a, a lead generation thing, right? A free ebook or a, a voucher or whatever, right? Someone goes to the page, they don't download it for whatever reason. Right, that later that day, they start seeing an ad saying, hey, what you know, what happened? Did you did something get in the way? Why didn't you download your free thing? How effective is that? How cool is that? They go, boom, I did want to get that. Just something cropped up. They're messing through their phone, right? They didn't have quite time to do it. They see it again later, bam, they're in, they've downloaded or bought or whatever it is. How cool is that? It could be that they bought your product and you want to show them the next product that they could need. Because if I've just bought a product, right? You don't need to then continue showing me ads for that product, right? You can turn those off now, right? That Again, that's something the Facebook Pixel allows you to do. You go, right, anyone who buys this product, don't show them this ad, essentially, right? But what would be really effective is if you then show me three other products that go really well with that thing that I just bought. How amazing is that? Like, that to me is just like, you go, right, you've just bought this, that's awesome. And for whatever reason, I didn't buy your upsells, or perhaps you don't have upsells on your website yet. Do that. Um, anyway, but then you come back to Facebook and I see these three other things that I could need. Straight back to your site, bought, done. The power of retargeting is just huge. 
and it's all made possible by the Facebook Pixel. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take retargeting as a video on its own. I'm going to do that for you in a couple of weeks time so keep your eye out for that comeback when you want to get that. Uh, but for now, look, we haven't even got the damn thing installed yet, right? So we need to get the Facebook Pixel actually installed on your website, on your landing pages, wherever you need to get it put, right? So that's going to be the focus of today. So we're going to go jump on the computer right now, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get the Facebook Pixel set up. Let's go. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to take you onto the computer. We're going to be looking at how to get your Facebook Pixel installed on a WordPress website and on your landing page software. I'm going to show you using ClickFunnels. So let's dive in. So when you come to your events manager tab or your ads page, like log into your ads page on your Facebook page uh, and yours might look a bit different if you haven't got the business manager set up, this will just be the normal Facebook blue. Uh, but essentially you want to come here to your events manager section, right? You can click up here, you'll see events manager and pixels, right? Uh, basically, this is where you're coming to. This is where your business manager, your ads manager, power editor, etc., etc., etc. Essentially, you're coming here, click on the menu, go to events manager and click on pixels. And this is the page, I've just reloaded it, awesome. Uh, <laughs> And this is the page that you will come to, right? All we're gonna do, nice and simple, hit that big green button, create a pixel, starts coming up, we're gonna call it. Now actually, I'm gonna, the way I'm gonna show this to you guys is uh, my wife has started a brand new blog, which is awesome, super excited for her starting that. Uh, now she, so it's really nice because I'll be able to show you from a blank slate, so where you guys will be starting from as well. So uh, her website is called Sincerely Shelly, so we'll call that, that's what we'll call the, the pixel. Uh, create. It doesn't really matter what you call the pixel name, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, Sincerely, you created your pixel, now make it work by installing some code, right? That's, that is how easy it is to create the pixel, right? <laughs> Done. Now we get on to installing it, right? So you've got uh, use integration or tag manager, manually install the code yourself or email instructions to a developer. Now, if you've got a web guy, great. Email them the instructions and have them do it but it's not gonna take you long to do it yourself and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we're gonna to go to manually install the code yourself and what you're essentially looking for, right? Look, it starts getting technical. This is where Facebook gets all like nice and technical. So locate the header code for your website. What? What, the header code for my website? What are you talking about? Yeah, just find the head tags on your web, like what, no. And actually now, if you're using WordPress, lots of the templates come with this already. Like you can just find the, the head that will give you a section where you embed the uh, the Facebook code already. Like we're, we're just gonna ignore this first section for a minute, because I'm gonna show you a really easy way to implement this. So uh, we're gonna leave this open. And we're going to come back to this in a minute. So there's some little bits that we need to do first. So keep this tab open. Open up a new tab. Uh, this is my wife's blog, Sincerely Shelly. So here we are on Shelly's dashboard of her new blog. And actually, if you're using WordPress, it'll look pretty much the same. So what I want you to do, the easiest way to get the pixel installed, like forget the header tags, forget diving into the code of your website. We don't need to do that. Just head on over to plugins. When you get here, click add new next to the plugins. Search for Facebook Pixel. Brings up Facebook Pixel. Look, it's got a lot of installs. It's got a good rating. Great. Install now. Once it's installed, hit activate. And then you'll see it appear here on the left hand side. Hit pick, hit on it. Pixel your site. Click there. And look, all you need is your Pixel ID. Look, mine's actually already in there because I put it from earlier. But look, let me show you where you get that from. So look, here's the full code. We're gonna use that later, but you can just click off here for the time being. Uh, if you're on here, look, Pixel ID, literally right there, you just need to copy and paste that number there. Go back to the site where you're putting it in. Enter your Facebook Pixel ID there. Done. You want it in the header. Great, perfect. Uh, scroll down. Make sure that enable general event setup is ticked. Scroll down, tick this box if it's not already ticked. Activate plugin general settings, hit save settings. And boom, your pixel is set up already. The general, the general pixel is set up on your site. The only thing you now have to do is head on over to the events tab, which you see at the top here. And what I would do is, this is assuming you've got like a thank you page on your website, which if you're driving people to either a purchase or driving them to download something like you probably will have, right? So if there is a thank you page that they hit after they've taken an action, they're a lead, right? So you wanna add new event, type in the URL, 
that you so like the web address so if it's like for example it could be sincerely shelley.co.uk forward slash thank you right once they hit that page and you want them to be a lead you would add that in great done just scroll down and hit add done and you've added that event hit activate events and hit save settings and that automatically sorts it all out between your website and facebook couldn't be easier and if you now come back to like the starting point where we got the pixel from you can see like no recent activity but look it's a green light last received two minutes ago like we know that the pixel is now embedded on the site because it's now triggered a response we know it's implemented awesome you might have to hit refresh on your website on the uh, on this facebook page as well but that is now embedded now getting it onto your landing page software i'm going to show you using click funnels that's just one of the softwares that that i use with my businesses for those of you that don't know what ClickFunnels is, it's just this like awesome piece of software that just allows you to create, I'm gonna use the word funnels, but what I mean by that is like the journey like someone goes on when they come into contact with your business, right? So this is just super simple, simple. This isn't a real, I've just thrown together two like pages for, so again, using Shelly's logo, sincerely Shelly. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'll just show you them now, like just so you've got an idea of what this is, but right, so this is like, page one, right, fill in your thing, your details to download your free whatever it is. Once they download that, right, they go to a thank you page. Again, like I threw these together in like 10 seconds, so don't judge me on my, uh, <laughs> don't judge me on this. Uh, but thanks for signing up, blah, 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 right, they can download whatever it was they, they opted in for, right? So, but essentially what we want is, because this isn't on your WordPress website, because this is outside of that, we now need to embed the code here as well. And we also want to make sure that anyone who reaches this thank you page is considered a lead, right? So that it tracks it back to Facebook and it consider, Facebook considers them a lead. So what you're gonna do, uh, where's it gone? Facebook pixel, you're gonna come back here. Uh, if it looks like this still, great, click set up your pixel again. That's perfect. Again, manually install the code yourself and then you're gonna copy, click, we see step two here. Again, we're gonna ignore the header tag bit there. We're just gonna ignore that. Copy the entire pixel code, right? That's what we're gonna copy. As soon as you click on it, it copies it for you. Now, you're gonna head on over to click funnels and then you go on to the funnel that you want it to appear on. So here we're on Sincerely Shelly. Click on settings and look right here, header tracking code. Just couldn't be easier, could it? Look at that, absolutely awesome. Paste that in there, boom. Scroll down to the bottom, hit save and update and boom, your pixel is on your, and that, when you do this on ClickFunnels, that puts it over every page in the funnel, right? So in here, it's those two pages. Now, before we disappear from ClickFunnels, let's go onto the thank you page, because although that's got the code on it, we now need to track our, the result, right? So I now want to get a, to say, whenever someone visits the thank you page, I want it to say, boom, they were a lead. Does that make sense? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a little bit more of extra code to go on that thank you page. So uh, let's go continue here. And then look, now we want to track an event. So if you just scroll down a little bit to step two, like we want to track, do, 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 generate lead, right? So a lead is someone, you know, you've also got the option of purchase. What else do we have here? Let me just click off there. We've got complete registration. So it depends on what you want to track, but for right now, we're gonna track leads. So. What we're gonna do, again, just this little bit of code here. That's all we need. Copy that code. Right now we're gonna head back over to the ClickFunnels funnel. And then look, we're gonna look at the thank you page. And what we're gonna do is gonna go and edit the page. Go up to settings. So like, again, this is just a, a generic page. Don't look too much into this, but we'll look at what I'm doing. Go to settings, tracking code, header code, copy and paste that little bit of code. Click off that. Hit save, done. Now you have got anyone who visits this page immediately tagged, immediately pixeled as a lead. Sends that information back to Facebook, done. So hopefully now you've got your Facebook pixel set up on your website and on ClickFunnels if you're using ClickFunnels too, because this is gonna make life so much easier when it comes to creating your ads, which we're gonna look at in the next video. All right, that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, most importantly, I hope you've got that Facebook pixel installed now everywhere, tracking those conversions. If you have got it installed because of this video, if you've liked the video, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, answer my question and leave me a comment below and hey, share it too. But apart from that, until next time, see you later.